My dear child, we have total solar eclipse along with a new moon. In arises now is a good time to set out your positive intentions and goals to manifest your dreams. So when you choose a new path it requires letting go of previous energies. So when you are struggling with a situation and it seems that things just don't seem to be getting better, it gets more difficult and when you are holding on to something internal that you may not realize. So many times you are carrying something that is creating stress and negativity in your situation. So seeing the truth of the situation and going on a new path will help you finding your true happiness. So being totally honest with yourself takes a lot of courage and strength and it is a part of your spiritual growth. So this is when you are able to open yourself to your higher self and welcome in new opportunities and beginnings in every aspect of your life. So letting go and surrendering is humbling yourself and allowing God to take over to direct your path for your highest good. So having the trust, faith and believing in yourself that things are going to get better if you just release those old past wounds and unwanted patterns. My child, know that big energetic shifts are coming as a result of the inner work you are doing. So it is healthy to slow down contemplate and reflect, take a time to observe the changes taking place in your life. So realize how far you have come and how much you have grown. The face of adversity you never back down. So you keep moving forward with a growth attitude and as a result of this attitude, you are manifesting blessings at light speed. So it was all meant to be exactly how it was and when you surrender and accept what has happened to you, that is when miracles flow. So the bigger the challenges, the bigger the trump, every ounce of your struggle will be rewarded and if you stick to the path of service. So the greater you serve the world around you, the more abundance you welcome into your life and the lives of others. So it will all work out for greater than you could possibly expect. So my child know that. Forgive yourself for what was even if you know better you were not in a position to act on it you have been hit with a lot through the years. So you have sacrificed a great deal of your own happiness and peace in the process. So you did not do it on purpose, you did it because it was all you know, 
forgive yourself to release the resentment of anything that lingers through today so you deserve to put your past to rest even if little by little the present and future are bright brighter if you make the choice to drop the bags so my child note that take action towards your highest alignment and know what to say no to your intuitive knowing and feeling is divinely intelligent so trust that some things not working out is the universe is working in your favor allow the fiery energy of passion and enthusiasm to help you create effortlessly from your soul be real with yourself and value your pure truth and authentic self it is a time to live in alignment with what you truly believe in spend time in calm and solitude to gain deeper clarity and avoid bump out so don't hold back allow your light to fully shine So you can't think feelings of fear or anxiety away when you try to do that what you will end up doing is adding momentum to those feelings So you will unintentionally give them your attention which powers them overthinking will only ever allow in even more thoughts that feel like that So when fearful or anxiety based feelings arise allow and acknowledge them and begin to see them for what they are which is a reminder to see things from a higher perspective So don't get caught up in what fear is telling you instead it just see it as a reminder to relax and let go so my child know that we hold on to those who cannot love us for so many reason sometimes we hold on because we convince ourselves that the circumstances will change that if we love harder so if we give more if we stay if we endure the situation will evolve and the value of our love will finally be recognized and it will finally be chosen so sometimes we hold on because we feel like we have to we feel like we have to be the ones to fix the ones to mend so the ones to prove that human beings don't give up on a person they see something beautiful within and sometimes we hold on because we think that we will never find the kind of person who proves to us that love is not something that is mean to hurt so sometimes we hold on because we lose our belief in the fact that love has the potential to be soft that there is more to life than what we are settling for so sometimes we hold on because we have not healed because we would rather sleep beside someone who makes us feel lonely than be alone sometimes we hold on because it is easier to fill our voids with another human being even when they cannot value us because we are still learning how to value ourselves so 
so we hold on to those who cannot love us for so many reasons in so many ways and it is okay letting go is one of the hardest things you will have to do but at the end of the day keeping someone in your life who makes you question yourself who makes you feel like you are too much who ask for you to quiet your soul that is the greatest injustice you will ever impart on your heart and that is doing yourself a deep disservice because you deserve to be surrounded by people who make you feel seen it is important to learn how to stop romanticizing the things in your life that hurt it is important to cut those ties even when it is hard even when you do not want to face the loss because it is within that hardships that you will learn how to choose your own heart that you will learn how to stand up for it and it deserves to be defended and it deserves to be treasured so your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment congratulations this message signals pending nuptials beginning with a romantic engagement so even if you are not presently in a relationship the romance angel can see one upon your horizon this message comes to you as reassurance specifically so that you will choose to release any worries about whether you will get married because you will so deep romantic love in which you feel treasure is in the card for you the deeper meaning of this card relates to commitment so first you commit to taking care of yourself and if you establish boundaries about what you will and would not accept in your relationship and in other life area such as career home lifestyle and so on next you honor your self commitment by taking decision action and telling others how you truthfully feel about their behavior so as you commit to yourself the universe sends you additional experiences of loving commitment including the promises of marriage